I just got back from a movie, and there are two things that you need to know about me. One, I love movies. If it's in the theaters and I haven't seen it, odds are I want to. And two, I like traits. And I like seeing traits in people and movies and being like, I want to kind of be more like that. And it usually happens after uh, a couple movies that I will want to have certain traits of like a character or a theme or something like that. Like, I watch Fight Club and I want to go back and do martial arts again. Yes, I, I used to do martial arts. And I loved the the fighting part, like not the... Not in like a mean way, but just because I used to have so much endurance back then and it was so cool feeling powerful and stuff like that. And like when I, wa when I watch Clerks, it makes me want to get motivated more than the, those characters were, obviously. And like start a business with my friend or something or be a bartender. And like just I, I got out of Limitless earlier today and my creative juices are just like exploding in my head right now and I just have so many ideas for things and I didn't even have to take a pill and just like it's just weird how movies like can react uh, with people like that and like I, kn I know so many of my friends watched the social network and they were like oh my gosh like I just I want to be more ambitious and have a grand idea like that and like that that's how I felt too after watching the social network for like the fifth and sixth time yes I know I've seen it a lot but like I want to start websites but I just don't know what I want them to do yet so if you have any ideas and you can you want me to steal your ideas be feel free to leave them in the comments or just don't do that no that sounds like a that's a horrible idea but yes, Limitless, oh my gosh, the movie was so good. The music, the tone, the, the filming, the it was just, the, it was awesome. Like, Bradley Cooper is amazing. Robert De Niro, it was awesome. The way that it was filmed and, like, some of the scene changes and, like, when it changes from him not being on the drug to... Have it, taking the drug, like the transitions, like you don't notice how dull the color is until he's like in the zone or whatever, and it's just like everything becomes more bright and vivid, and it's just like, well, I was blind, but now I see, he said in the movie, I'm quoting it, uh, it was a quote before this movie, but obviously, but it was just... Oh my gosh, it was such a good movie, and it had action and comedy and way th so many things. My hair is going nuts. So many things to make you think about, and it was just so, so good. And if you have the extra 3 to $11, I don't know how much movies are where you live, but definitely go check out this movie. It was very, very well made. And those people, you people, you people, yesterday saying that, oh, Cadbury sells candy all year round. Yes, they do sell candy all year round. Over in Europe and over where you guys are. Not in America. In America, it is extremely hard to find anything Cadbury in not February and March and April-ish. Like, the, the, Cadbury basically doesn't exist in America not in the Easter season. Am I, am I saying words? Is this real life? I'm just... <laughs> when it's not Easter time, Cadbury doesn't make any money at all in America. I, and you Americans who are, who are jumping up in the comments saying, Oh, they sell Cadbury here where I... In America as a country, as an entire country, it is not substantial enough for Cadbury to make any money during the non-Easter season. You, that... <sighs> Come on. Yes, I know. Cadbury it makes money in Europe and over there where you guys are, not in America. That's, that's it. That's the... Go see Limitless. Okay, bye.